Hi guys, today we are going to see how to install MySQL Workbench on Ubuntu 20.04. Uh, MySQL Workbench is a graphical user interface uh, to manage and access your uh, MySQL instance. Uh, we will we'll see how to install that in just. Just visit the MySQL Workbench official website and download the .deb file which can be installed on Ubuntu 20.04. Just select your operating system. Select the DB package. Just click on uh, no thanks, just start my own. Okay, just save it. I'm just downloading that to desktop folder. Now you can install that using uh, sudo dpkg iphone i and part to that db file. Uh, in my case, it is desktop. So and just provide your password. We got some dependency errors here, package processing errors. To fix this, just type for sudo apt iphone f install. This will fix that issue. This will resolve the required dependencies and fix the issue. So you can just do this. If you get any errors while installing SQL Bench, so now it's done. So my SQL Workbench can uh, installation is successful. Now we'll see how to perform basic operations using uh, my SQL Workbench. Now I'm going to connect to uh, with a user uh, named Yuraj that is already available in my SQL my local my SQL instance. Just give the username here and password for your MySQL user. Now just test the connection. Yeah, it is successful. So now I'm going to uh, click OK and I'm going to connect to that user. Okay. okay. Okay, now we can see the server states, uh, client connections and other things here in the left side. Um, you can see the system variables and you can export the data, everything uh, options available, you can just explore these options. Uh, okay, now we will see how to create a new database table and how to insert data. Um, just close this. If you want to execute any query, you can uh, write something here and you can select that and you can click on this lightning icon to execute that query. Anyway, we can we are going to see how to perform uh, basic operations using a GUI itself. Now, okay, if you click here, you can you know, get to a list of schemas. Now I'm going to create a, a new schema, a new database. Um, name okay let's say you we 
shop okay click on apply so now we got our new schema here and you can see there is no tables we can create new table there is no tables it is empty schema and i'm going to create a new table and okay with name okay with name products and columns id uh, integer and uh, okay we can set the flags using this it is a primary key and not should not be okay this it should not be null and it can be okay should unique auto increment i just set few things based on my needs and now we are going to have one more column that is uh, title i'm going to set a uh, few flags here title should not be null okay <coughs> and this can be let's say 100 okay fine now i'm going to create my new table as i defined here okay just click on apply close okay now we should be able to see our tables here yep, we can see right now we'll see how to insert data how to retrieve insert data um, into this table uh, using uh, UI itself. Now just click on select rows. This will help us to fetch the data. And here you, you can see this right the grid. <laughs> there is a grid. Here you can edit like let's say we don't have any data here for now. Uh, so we can just insert uh, some data and we can I'm just going to give something here and uh, let's say back. And one more row. I'm going to create one more row. That is one more product. Um, let's say bag. Okay, packets. Oh, sorry. Covers. <coughs> okay. Now just click on apply. So this data will be inserted into table. Yep. Now we have this data. So now we have data in our table. If you just want to edit, you can just click here and click on apply again so that it will be applied. The ID will be automatically in incremented uh, by the SQL itself. Uh, if you want to delete something, you can just click on delete rows and apply. You have to click on apply. So you can also see the indexes and other things here. You see foreign keys, foreign key relationships, and triggers here in the workbench itself if you want to drop the um, if you just want to drop the table you can do it from here if you want to tr truncate if you want to drop the table you can do it from uh, this menu context menu that's all guys thanks for watching guys if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button for more updates